All right, y'all, today we're going to go to one of Mexico's top restaurants. I'll throw that link in the description. We're gonna get some drinks and cocktails. We're gonna get some apps, some food, and we are gonna end this thing with some dessert. Let's get into it. Yunji got a gin based cocktail. It's pink, it's fruity, but you do get the botanicals of the gin. It is a bitter, or there's some little fizz, definitely some bitter sour bite. And it's not too thin or too thick. It's like a very medium in body. But yeah, I get the botanicals and some, some bitter and sour. substituted the gin for mezcal, which is not that uncommon in Mexico. But what they also did was they substituted the sweet vermouth for pasita. Pasita is like a raisin liqueur here we have it in another video. And then they're still compared for the bitterness. It's very, very different, but it's really balanced and it works good. This is the cocktail de pulpo. It's like an amuse. Um, the cilantro was super bright and fresh and gave really good like kind of herbly flavor and then Yunji thinks it's dill we'll get back to that and then really good textures in here a little spicy very fresh um, really tasty the next thing and, and the texture is really good so nothing to take away from that but the poblano cheese that also made me want to get this it, it's so rich and flavorful um, and the sauce is so thick and it's basically melted cheese instead of a sauce and then you've got some sort of green um, obviously not like a green onion but kind of like shallowy green onion thing and then some uh, little mushrooms in there with what looks like some shavings of parmesan and maybe some lemon zest or something really really good it looked a little small but because of how rich it is it's gonna be plenty the cheese is a lot more interesting it is that poblano cheese i didn't know what it tastes like the cheese wasn't what I was expecting, or I knew it would be different, but it really carries it. The, the gnocchi texture is great, it's like a perfect ball instead of like a ridged oblong thing. The cheese is super rich and interesting, um, really thick, uh, really savory, and then you've got like some mushrooms and other stuff going on there, uh, really good. So the lengua sanita, different than the sanita we had last time, maybe like a third of the size, but the, the bread is right on. It's toasted and kind of spongy and soft at the right areas. The meat's perfect, uh, kind of cubes or diced up lengua. So this is the sanita uh, with lengua and then I think there's cilantro, I don't know what else is in here. It's like a fancy take on the thing we had before. Flavorful, juicy, not dry at all and a great saucy marinade, a little spicy. There's some raw onions and cilantro. It reminds Yunji of Menudo. Something's like very reminiscent and um, it's warming me up. I need to take off my jacket. I like this. Savory, like gaminess of the lengua or something in the sauce, but there's something that really reminds me. A lot of flavor, flavor bomb. Meat's great, the bread's perfectly toasted. It's like, and this guys might want to see that and not this. I like it. I'll be interested to see what Yunji thinks about this. This is the Paloma Maracuya with Rebosado. It's very refreshing. They make this uh, juice in-house. The salt on the rim is really good salt. Uh, really refreshing. It's like a margarita but replace the the lime with the, the maracuya and the fruit, and it's um, quality liquor, so you're not getting that weird bite. Really smooth and light. I'm drinking 
drinking the, the peach whiskey drink. It's really good. You definitely get like the peach vibe, but you get like that cut of bitter or a little smoky whiskiness. Um, yeah, it feels like you're drinking a smoky cobbler with booze. Really yeah. good. Refreshing, but bitter. Really, really nice dinner drink. So this is the duck breast with peach mole. It's well cooked. It has the nice layer of skin or fat on top. And then it's, it's well cooked. It's not too pink or anything. It's a little over what I would expect, but it is moist and juicy. The peach mole is really nice. You definitely get peach in the front. You get that kind of complex mole. And then at the end, you have that lingering heat that's always super impressive for mole. And then you've got some almost undercooked veg, a beet, some other thing I can't recognize, and then another beet, like red beet, yellow beet. There are some like dried or roasted kale and then some other like green bean looking thing, but it's like white, just to add some like earthy crunchiness. Right, really good dish. Really like al dente kind of crunchy, almost undercooked kind of veg. A little spice from the mole. Always really interesting how they do that. You get these like bold, interesting flavors and then the heat in the back. like creme brulee top, really warm. Um, it's got like the crust on the outside. It's almost like a cookie. And then, yeah, you definitely get that kind of savory, tart cheesecake. And then there is some fruit, like a berry, like a blackberry in there that gives you that kind of sour kick. Really good, probably gonna let it cool off, but really happy with it. Thanks for spending your time with us eating at Moyuelo. New video coming out Saturday. See you then.